What's up, everyone? Welcome to Ring the Bell. My name is Joey the Dead Bod Demigod. I am the interdimensional Shiro Moxie Molly. And who do we have here? Rest friend Teddy from Rest Friends. Rest Friends. Rest now, friends. your rest friend joined DSN. Joined yeah, to do the main show, but you came to the A show. Oh. oh. Because NXT and AEW is where it's at in wrestling. It's it really definitely, is. yeah, some of the most exciting women's wrestling and content that is being produced in the wild, wonderful world of professional wrestling. Welcome again, guys, to this edition of the Wednesday Night Women's Wars. Yeah, I see the eye. You always like make sure that I'm like, he's got to say it. Don't forget about us women over here. Speaking of not forgetting about women. We got to talk about Impact real quick. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. So I know that normally on Ring the Bell, no one really mentions Impact. We want to, but we all have lives. It's so difficult. So here's our shout out. 90 second Impact review. Because something's happening that's never really happened before. Uh, Monumental. Tessa Blanchard is fighting for the Impact Championship. <laughs> Traditionally, a male would wrestle for a men's world heavyweight championship. So, props to Tessa Blanchard, my girl. Yeah, she is killing it. Oh, she is Impact. She like, is I impact. agree, and yeah. I really like how Impact, because I am starting to break out in a ton of intergender wrestling. I feel like at a national level, Impact is really spearheading the intergender wrestling yes. movement, and I'm down with it. Give it to us, it's about equality. It really is. I mean, of all people to earn this shot, she beat Brian Cage. Like, that's yes. a lot. Yeah. Have you seen that man? Yeah, I was on a show with him. He's a beast. I've seen some videos that he's put out there that I'm not gonna talk about on the internet. He uh, eats an entire chicken after a match. Oh. An entire chicken. Not a rotisserie chicken, y'all. Like the oh. size of a Thanksgiving turkey chicken. Like an entire chicken. We stand Raw. a man who can take a lot Just of cock meat. <laughs> but moving on, <laughs> diving into our regularly scheduled program, let's go ahead and hop across the pond and talk a brief bit about NXT UK. While we didn't get any women's in-ring action, we did get one damn good promo from Jenny this week. She was backstage with Jazzy Gabbert and talked a little bit about how she's better than everyone else in the women's division. And you know what? I'm going to say at a national level, I think she's better than everyone else on the mic. I don't know if many people can match her mic skills right now. Although she does tend to talk up to the ceiling a bit. Like. Yeah, we noticed that. <laughs> I was like thinking at first maybe there was a monitor she was reading some lines off of, but I really think it's because she's standing next to Jazzy and they're trying to keep her in focus and she's down here so she's like looking up at the camera. <laughs> she did deliver um, one of the best and shadiest lines of the week. And of like, maybe even 2019. <laughs> maybe. Where he's like, what do you think about the women's division? And she's like, just like your outfit. Cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stand Jenny Harder. Like, she's one of my favorites across the board. Sadly, that's all the footage we got from the women's division on NXT UK this week. Well, let's go ahead and jump back over to regular NXT and talk about the rather explosive freaking night that we got in NXT. First of all, I want to say we've been saying on this show for weeks how we're going to talk about the other show for a second. AEW has all this time for all out brawls with men, but they're giving us very little with women. I don't know if NXT is like... We'll take what you have and we'll raise you because they gave us an all out brawl like we've never seen with the women. And they gave us so much time. We gotta talk about what kicked off, off the, the brawl. Show. Well, off the brawl, too, really. <laughs> Becky Lynch. I don't know if you all are digging the integration of all of the shows now. I am. I thought it was wonderful to see Becky Lynch on NXT again. Me too. Me too. Um, I love how she walked in and she's like, I was in that corner. I can't do the accent like you can. <laughs> I think it was a good throwback to making all of us remember all the stuff she's been through to claw her way to become good old Becky Two Belts. <sighs> I don't know. I haven't seen as much work from many female superstars and improvement that I've seen from her. And I don't know. I know we are all about, <sighs> but Becky Lynch is a goat. She yes, is. yes, I agree. Right. That pop she got when she walked out of that door backstage. Yes. Serve it over I mean, ice because it was wonderful. Yes, I mean, it had been, what, four years since she had been there? And that's her original crowd, you know? Mm -hmm. So that pop was beautiful. That was yeah. really nice. I mean, it's Becky Lynch, so she's not going to cry. But if it was me, I probably would have been like, oh! <laughs> 
Don't make my mascara run. Well, she made your mascara run from laughing, though, right? Oh, Cause... yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So we did just say how Ginny might have had the best line in 2019, but here we go. I know you all aren't digging our Bailey bashing, but oh, we baby. don't even have to do it this week because <laughs> Becky Lynch, the G-O-A-T, did it for us. <laughs> she totally called out her soccer mom hair and just, it was glorious. I think just it's hilarious how shade. she called Sasha Bank a Bailey's buddy when I think that Bailey's definitely the buddy or sidekick to Sasha Bank. They've both been playing off each other for so long, it's kind of hard to think of Bailey not with Sasha and I'm ready for one of them to turn on the other. It it's has like to happen. Traditional Blair and Serena gossip girl drama. That's not our show to talk about. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about what happened because Becky came out, she called out Shayna Baszler, but that's not who answered the call. Mm -hmm. It was. <sighs> Rhea Ripley. This is my brutality! And that's how you do it, DS. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> you want to try it? It's a lot of fun. Yes. <sighs> I wish you could do the stomp too. That's my favorite part. Oh, I love the stomp. I love the stomp. Legit, when Rhea Ripley's music hit, I peeped a little bit. Just a little <laughs> bit. Just, I got, I got really excited. Well, I got excited, like you said, the pop with Bailey's music, but stacking on top of that pop, the Rhea Ripley pop, and then stacking on that when finally we heard the bell ring. Uh -huh. yes. Well, first she hit that promo where she's like, oh, you're the man? Let's see if you got balls. Yes. And I was like... <laughs> I love Rhea Ripley. I love everything she does and everything she says. I love Rhea Ripley. Everything yeah. she does, everything she says. I love Becky Lynch. Everything she does, everything she says. And so just seeing them together, you guys are the carbs. I'll be the protein. <laughs> They're the perfect sandwich. That match, everything about it, I was living for. I was like, when it went to the commercial and they put them in the little screen, I was still like... Yeah. If there's a pin or anything, we'll show it. And I was like, you better give me the play-by-play -play during the commercial. <laughs> and they did. Give it to us, Mauro Ronaldo. You know, they had a stellar match with not really an ending because then there was the brawl we're talking about, all these people piling out. But I was, listen, I was so sad to see it end. This is what I want to see. I want to see Becky versus Rhea Ripley. That was pure magic. Well, we only got three that ran Changed on this my one. Because we got Shayna Baszler accompanied by the, the other two. two. <laughs> Gosh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> we got those three that bum rushed the ring for this one. It was expected. We got the same thing on Monday Night Raw, pretty much. I'm ready to see Becky and Shayna go head to head. I'm yes, seeing Becky yes. and Rhea. Survivor Series is the best time of year. Like seeing everyone mix it up. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop up. Up. I'm going to work harder. Sorry, I got into it. <laughs> we did get another matchup this week on NXT. It was the NXT UK Women's Champion, Kaylee Ray, I believe making her NXT TV debut, in ring at least. In ring, yeah. And she went on against the forgotten superstar of NXT, <laughs> the one who gets left out of everything, even though she's amazing. Miss Dakota, Dakota Kai. Kai. We need to figure out a way to do like three way tons. <laughs> yeah, you, you do both thing. hands with that? Ready? One, two, three. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Kaylee Ray went one on one with Dakota Kai in a really, really good match. I saw a lot from Dakota this week. Dakota Kai was basically kicking Kaylee Ray's head off the entire And time. I think Kaylee Ray loved it. Kick spot to the outside where she ran and she, you saw the foot connect, like Kaylee's head snap back. She even sold it really well with like her eyes rolling in the back of her head yeah. to the point where I couldn't tell if it was legit. There's right. immense right. talent. Sorry dudes, women are overshadowing you right now. Um, like they're giving us amazing stuff that you guys haven't even thought of. So it's now it's not just women doing men's things. It's women surpassing the men and doing amazing things y'all will never do it's about damn time this match though kind of showed me a little bit of what they're doing to dakota kai because if you notice every match that dakota has she whoops the other person's ass pretty well and then all of a sudden they hit a finisher and she loses yep. that happens a lot to it, her. Does, it does it builds the ultimate underdog ultimate baby face for sure it kind of bothers me because i just think she's so good like i wish she was in tegan's place in war games i feel like they're doing this though because they're after war games they're going to make her a, a like a pinnacle of storyline she kind of reminds me of bailey when bailey was in nxt it took yeah. bailey a long time 
to get up there. I feel like people saw her as a joke because of her character. So that's how I see Dakota Kai as well. First of all, it's not that we don't like Bailey, it's that we've come to expect a lot from her and she's not giving it to us. But I do agree with what you're saying. That yeah. I don't even know if management's taking her seriously, yeah. like in a real shoot world. Like this yeah. isn't just storyline. I don't know if management's taking either Bailey or Dakota Kai mm -hmm. seriously, but I really do hope and feel that they're starting to build Dakota Kai into something that's gonna like. I hope Bailey comes back as a full explode. force. I hope Dakota explodes. Let's all take a moment and pray to Saint Sherry Martell and hope that she will please bless us with that. We saw Kaylee Ray pick up the win over Dakota hitting the gory special. Yes. And then all hell broke. Another brawl! Another brawl. And, but the brawl to end it all, which it honestly didn't really seem like there was a reason for it. It was just Smackdown invaded. Yeah. Yeah. Like all of a sudden there was just Carmella moving yeah, walking like, and a bunch of people attack some people. Don't understand why that was happening. Like, oh, you stole our show because you were, gave us way more views than we had before. And next he just came back and was like, F you. But I ate every second of it up. I was like, oh, this yeah. is I fun. love what they're doing. Thank you, E, for finally giving us what we want. Did you just guys kidding. notice that moment with Kyrie Sane and EO kind of squaring off with each yes. other. Yes. You're biting my stuff. Kyrie Sane was giving me a little bit of Nikki Bella. Yes. <laughs> oh my yes. God. Yes. But then at the same time, I felt like she was EO. I don't know. It was weird. No, yeah. yeah I, she was she definitely like, yeah. She looks so cute. But it teased the match that I love to see. Yes. yes. Same here. Also, nothing to do with the match. EO's um, eyeliner last night on mm. NXT. Yes, queen. Go it's on. a little bit better than that eyeliner that Paloma gave Diaz. <laughs> Much better than the eyeliner. I loved it. Ooh, not Paloma. Not DS's. Uh, no shade. <laughs> The brawl ended with Nikki Cross coming out with a trash can lid and just Thank everybody, you! Everybody. <laughs> we love it. She's like the redeeming factor of the blue. I yeah. can't wait to see what happens. Um, Survivor Series is going to be nuts. Yes, um, it is. War Games is going to be insane. Happy Thanksgiving! Well, that's it for NXT this week. Let's go ahead and jump over to AEW because we are going to talk about AEW and AEW Dark. Okay, so before we've put down that we're seeing the same people over and over, but I think it's good that these two finally squared off. Britt Baker Dr. versus- Dr. Britt Baker. Dr. <laughs> Britt Baker versus Hikari Shida. Hikari. This is finally like a match I was like pretty excited. Like this almost takes the cake for me for the week in women's wrestling. And they kind of tried to make it work commentary wise because they were really focusing on it's number one versus number two. Yes. Which, where are these rankings coming from? Their win-loss records. <laughs> Hmm. It kind of confused me too in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie. I was trying to remember all their matches. But it even counts like tag team matches and like battle royals. But wouldn't like Riho be number one considering she's the champion? Is this number, or number one and number contender? Two, underneath the, the champion. champion. Okay. So think of it like Mortal Kombat rules. Mortal like you have to. Ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam, you know, make your way up the tower <laughs> and get to the champion. All right. Mm. Which is cool, but they need to put more of a focus on that in storyline rather yes. than just saying it. Yeah, I was yes. very confused by what was happening. We saw a pretty solid match between Britt Baker. She got a little blood. She got some color. I don't think she gimmicked for it. I don't think she cut no. for it. It was totally on accident, but you know me, I'm big on professionalism, so props for you to keep on going. <laughs> I need to talk about something. He that, needs to talk about something. <laughs> I do. Uh, Hikaru went to do her chair spot like she did that she's done it twice now I think this, this is, is the third time. time oh she went to go do it but you could see Britt like just waiting and looking at her as she taunt the crowd and sets up the chair and does everything else she needs to do I mean she could have went to McDonald's and got a damn burger and come all the way back and then right as she's about to do the chair spot that's when Britt goes oh okay I guess I should be here so I can take a knee to the face. Uh, <laughs> like, dang. <laughs> it was just like, yo. I love Britt Baker. I love her. She's probably in my top five women wrestlers. I like her, but I definitely think she lacks charisma. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what happened there too. She's growing on me. I went from three weeks back being like, I don't like Britt Baker at all. Okay. To the point where she's like, she's growing on me, but I just, I need a little bit more from her. Yeah, no, I agree. That's why I feel like she does lack charisma. I agree. I think a lot of times whenever we bring up this same problem in our comments, um, our fans say that they feel like AEW lacks star power. I disagree. I think all of the female talents are a star in their own right. I do think what they are meaning is what you're saying. A lot of the stars, the AEW women's talent, 
lack charisma. I don't think it's because they're untalented with it. I think that they're being thrown into something huge very quickly yes. where the WWE stars and NXT stars get a little more exposure in front of audiences before they're thrust into yes. this. Where with AEW, they're being thrust into performing in front of millions of fans. They're putting women out there just to show that they have a women's division. They're not building that division. Yes, yes. And... I they need something. I That's hate, spot on. I hate to agree, but yeah, I do. We do feel like we have captured a bit of the AEW attention. Shalandra, shout out girl again. Mm -hmm. If anyone is watching that can do anything about it, please just give us a little bit of story. Like, I know that you guys are saying you're not sports entertainment, you're an actual wrestling show. There's a whole lot of entertainment going on with the dudes. And so we just want yes. women to have their fair shot. And yeah. if you have women who are like stunning and like move set amazing and aren't so good in the mic, this is a learning opportunity. Give it to them. We saw Hikaru get the win on that match, but let's go ahead and skip over to the internet because I was a little bit more entertained by AEW Dark this mm -hmm. past week. We got to see um, Britt Baker again, team with the women's champion, Riho, to take on Chris Statlander and Big Swole. Yes, let me tell you, we've seen a bunch of Britt Baker. We've seen a bunch of Riho who is beginning to improve, but I think who stole the show for AEW as a product completely as far as females go are Chris Stratlander and Big Swole. Like, there's nothing I have seen them do so far in an AEW ring that I don't like. I love everything they're doing. I like how even Dustin Rhodes brought up something I miss in tag team wrestling and I make a point of doing in my tag team wrestling with Chris holding the rope on the buckle. Like, everything about them is like textbook not indie, but like textbook what all the girls get yapped at. All the female wrestlers get yapped at on the indies. Like do it like this and do it like this and do it like that and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And then half the time the males don't even follow their own advice. So good on you, Chris Stratlander and Big Swole. Like you guys are doing amazing, phenomenal things and goals. And being charismatic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chris Stratlander. On, yeah, on the freaking buckle, still giving us everything we needed to like cheer on Big Swole. Big Swole did the same thing as, oh, and, oh, sorry, I'm so excited. As you can tell, I loved this <laughs> I match. It's me like, up. sorry, I know I keep interrupting you guys, but Chris Stratlander, like, she's only been doing this, apparently, according to commentary, for three years, and that veteran move of, like, pulling, like, so many yes, people, sorry, yes. guys, not to down the, like, Young Bucks, even, like, there are, like, strategies you have in tag team wrestling to make it believable, like, cutting Super the ring in half. people 15 times. Yeah, no, that's not a strategy. Oh. <laughs> cutting the ring in half and keeping your tag partner or keeping the person that you're wrestling in your corner near your tag partner yes chris pulling big swole to the corner taking her hand to tag you in because you're more fresh everything everything you're doing is amazing yeah. and i think an interdimensional shiro and an alien from out of this world would make a really gnarly tag team <laughs> oh, oh! Speaking of gnarly in a negative sense, don't put Dustin Rhodes on commentary. Again. Oh, <laughs> that's how I felt about the Bailey Cherry <laughs> shot. <laughs> 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 Since you're here and you're a special guest, if you had to do product versus product, women's wrestling exclusively, NXT, AEW, who won it for you this week? NXT for sure. I mm -hmm. think that's been a general consensus. Although, honestly, if we took just the AEW Dark match and yes. put it again. I was going to yeah. say that if we're going to talk just Dark, AEW Dark, and then also in ring work, I think AEW Dark takes it. But mm -hmm. other than that, um, like oh, if we I still took, don't think they no, took no, 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 no. If we took the brawling aspect out of it, if we took just in ring matches, just in ring, AEW oh. Dark, that for match me. was. Possibly. Stellar. Yeah. Stellar. Out of this world. Well, speaking of really exciting things, I think it's time for our Boom Blast moment of the week. <laughs> <laughs> she was she not ready. Was was not ready. ready. <laughs> what was your Boom Blast moment of the week? Yo and Kyrie definitely giving us that little tease of what it would feel like to see them together in the ring against each other one on one. That's that something we want. Yes. Please Sip give it to us. Going, oh. Please. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> They're like the ultimate frenemies. I want to see them. My boom blast moment of the week is going to that stellar face wash kick on the outside. Like I thought Kaylee Ray was not TF out. So much talent there. My boom blast moment of the week, sorry about ya, is the GOT Becky Lynch's 
calling out uh, of, of Bailey. Bailey's hair. Which, hold on. Crying like a teenage girl with an old lady haircut. You better watch what you say about Bailey's hair. She will report you to the manager. <laughs> <laughs> Is your middle name Karen? <laughs> it probably is. I know your shoot name is Pamela. That was this week with NXT and AEW special shout out to Impact Wrestling. Hey Moxie. Um, hey Joey. Hey Teddy. Where can, can people we go find, find you? At Rest Friends. <laughs> Just go like this. Oh, Rest Friends. We'll be down here, Rest Friends. Check out me and Edie, please. Thank you guys for having me. You guys are so awesome. Oh, uh, we try. <laughs> uh, Moxie, where can the people find you? Um, you can find me on all social media platforms at the, that's T-H-E-E, -E, Moxie Molly, right down here. Oh, shout out to my fan who just came to my show, Tristan. Thank you so much. That excites me. And if there's any more of you fans out there from Ring the Bell that also want to come see some cool indie wrestling, if you're an Illinois fan, I'll be at Southland Championship Wrestling. And I won't be here for next Wednesday's review. I will be over the pond in the UK, so if you want to pay like $3, I think it is, and see it live, you can also see me. British Empire Wrestling, and I'm wrestling Pretty Breakout English Star there. Mm. Joey, where can people find you? You can find me at Joey underscore Mayberry on Instagram and Twitter, or Joey Mayberry on TikTok. Guys, feel free to like and subscribe. Please subscribe. We just hit 30,000 subscribers. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, I think. We're going to give you guys a special treat. Next week is Thanksgiving, so there will not be a regularly scheduled Wednesday Night Women's Wars. But don't worry, the next that week we me. will be right Turkey back sound. to talk. <laughs> 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 Do not worry, next week we will be back to talk about everything that happened at TakeOver War Games, and we might even drop a special treat for you guys during our regularly scheduled mm. program time this week. I wonder if someone is going to go see anything on Thanksgiving Eve. I guess you'll have to wait and find out. Dun dun dun! Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye!